Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these English muffins. Let's begin. To start on the recipe, you'll want to grab yourself a mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your flour and your salt and give them a brief mix just to combine the two. You can then go ahead and add in the remaining ingredients, starting with the yeast followed by the sugar, the natural yogurt and the water. Then mix on a low speed for 2 minutes, followed by a medium high speed for around 4 minutes. Your dough should be clear and may be a bit sticky, but this, this is completely normal. Once your dough has done mixing, you can then flour your work surface with some bread flour. Place your dough onto it and give it a brief knead just to incorporate some of the flour so the dough isn't so sticky and it should be smooth and elastic. Don't forget to bring the dough back into a ball shape, then you can place it into a lightly oiled bowl and cover with some cling film and allow it to proof for the first time for roughly 45 minutes to an hour or until the dough has doubled in size. Don't forget to Take your baking tray that's been lined with some parchment and just dust over some flour. This is to prove the English muffins on. You can then go ahead and flour your work surface, placing the dough on top of the floured surface and knock it back. This is the process of removing the gases that have built up in the dough during the first proof. Don't forget to bring your dough back into a ball shape and then place onto a well floured surface. Grab yourself a rolling pin and ensure that it's been floured as well. Roll it out until the dough is around 2cm in thickness and then you can start to cut it out with a good cutter which is around 3 inches. And then take your cutouts and place them onto the lined and flowered tray, then cover with cling film and let proof for around 30 to 40 minutes or until they are well proven. Once the English muffins have started to prove and they look almost done, you can then start to heat your frying pan and brush it over with some vegetable oil, placing them in to the frying pan and allowing them to cook for seven to eight minutes on each side before flipping and once you do flip they should have a golden brown colour which is what you're looking for and if you've had an English muffin before it's the iconic look. So here are what they look like once they are fully baked, cooled and completely done. You can freeze them at this stage and now keep them in the freezer for around eight weeks. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again on Thursday with another video, so join me then. But in the meanwhile, don't forget to check out all my other videos and the links in the description. There'll be a link to my blog, this recipe and all my social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there. But yeah, that's all for today. Until next time, bye guys.